Hello guys and welcome to the channel and welcome to a new game or a new game for me that is and the game is Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment a game set in London in 1895-1896 um, you play Sherlock Holmes obviously that's the, what the game's called and you've got Dr Watson your uh, your sidekick your partner helping you find the clues investigate and deduce who the culprit is so before we begin, I'd just like to say a quick thank you to you guys, the viewers. So when I started this channel last year, I never I never envisaged the quality of viewership I would get. Um, the comments I get for recommendations for games, the comments I get for information on the game or advice on where to go. It's fantastic. Keep it coming, guys. Um, I wouldn't have played half the games I have played if it wasn't for the recommendations of of you guys so uh, thank you very much and also i'd like to say thank you to joku he bought this game for me mental so thank you very much much appreciated so uh anyway i think the game's afoot let's dive straight in okay in memory of the ukrainian heavenly hundred okay It's like a film. Okay, the fate of Black Peter. The deduction space icon appears each time you find a clue. Uh, some evidence requires additional investigation. It will be marked with a special tooltip. Oh, this thing's more complicated than L.A. Noir. That's a bit of light read in there. What the? What's going on? What? We are are we playing Watson then? <laughs> What's he doing? He's shooting vases. He's honing his Jedi. Oh, will you stop that? His Jedi skills, I think. He's blindfolded. Oh, look at that bear. Oh, this is. I mean, I gotta say the graphics are pretty good. And it's lovely slippers. Lovely slippers. Stop, Holmes. Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded. You... Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Confident step. Clinking handcuffs. Policeman. Ninth step avoided. Inspector Lestrade. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? He can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only sane one here? I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey. Born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. 
I have to go through the yard first. The Medi Men struck again. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. I should help Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. Okay. Uh, press tab to open the casebook and check your current progress. Um, in the investigation, task, evidence, etc. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh my goodness me. Um, so uh, this is Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, born in 1845, and so 50 years old. He achieved great success in well hunting in Scandinavia. Retired in 1884. Eventually moving to Woodman Lees. Okay. So that's the. Okay, this is our tasks. Investigate the murder of P uh, Peter Kerry. Inspect the crime scene at Woodman Lee's. Um, select a suit to wear using your personal wardrobe and join Lestrade at Woodman Lee's. Okay, so Inspector Lestrade pays a, pays a visit to Baker Street where he relates to Holmes through a grotesque affair that involved the former captain known as Black Peter. So what's this one here? Oh, this is a map of London. Look, you've got River Thames there, look. And this is us Baker Street, and that's Woodman Lee's. Can you I click on it? Leave yet. I am not finished here. Right. Okay. So that's like a fast travel system, then I guess. And we have the evidence here, which we've just seen, and we have documents. Oh my goodness me! We even have the dialogues. Wow, this is good. This seems really in depth. Souvenirs, echoes. And we have character portraits. Okay. All right. So, what was our first task? Select the suit to wear. I mean, boy, look at this. We've got a telescope there. Can we have a look through there? Oh, dear me. Oh, <laughs> dear me. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's a keeper. Right. Where was she? She still, I don't know if you can still see her. Oh god, she is! You can still see her! I don't know if you can see that, guys. That's like attention to the detail. And there's a London street outside. Wow. This would be amazing. This would be amazing. You've got a punching bag to let off a bit of steam. Hello, you Watson. You go along to Peter Carey's house. Mrs. Hudson and I will take care of the mess you've made here. So, um, it has been said that this is sort of familiar, sort of same to, sort of premise to L.A. Noir, and where you find, you investigate, you find clues. Um, but with L.A. Noir, you can't really go wrong. You might not get a five-star rating, but you, you can't really get the wrong person, such really. But uh, but this game, you can. You've got to get all the evidence. You've got to get your clues. You've got to get your powers of deduction, um, which I ain't going to do very well. And then you have to point a finger at the culprit. And I think you get a choice between, like, to let him go or not, or let them go or not, or something. Um, so let's have a look around. Look at this breakfast. This is, a, this is mental detail. This is really good. And they've got a game of chess going on here. Wow. I'm really impressed. I mean, this is seven years old, remember? And technology goes... It, it, it increases so quickly that you, this game is... Uh, my analysis table. It is useful for my work. Okay. And it looks like someone's been shooting in the wall here. It looks like VR. VR. Okay. So what we got us to go. We got this is letters. where I keep my post. My post. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Okay, and there's Mrs. Hudson. Oh, what a mess! What a terrible mess! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, what we got? We got um, got a violinist. Well, yeah, he's a violinist, isn't he? There's some there was some sheet music over there. I saw. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Right, so this is his room then. Oh, look at this. I'm, I'm actually blown away actually by the graphics. I didn't think it was going to be this good. I'm so glad this game was pointing out to me because I wouldn't even known about this game. I didn't know Sherlock Holmes was a game. So makeup table. So we can go camouflage. Not camouflage. Incognito, I mean. We can put a hat on. Do our hair. Oh, this is all right. We've got, okay. And we've got different glasses we can put on. Oh no, that's locked anyway. Oh, they're all locked, so we can't put anything on. Maybe that's something to do later on. I'm just going to wardrobe and let's choose a suit. So we've got a sailor outfit. 
Don't think so. Let's have our casual shoot. Yeah, that, that, that's good. That's a good one. I like that suit. It seems fitting. So we got our suit. Let's have a quick look around a second. I can't wait to go outside on the streets, if we can. Wow, this is detailed. I see they're bringing out a new Sherlock Holmes game as well this year. Uh, if this is any good, I'll, I'll get that one as well. But, you know, let's not... Let's not jump the gun, so to speak. Um, so I don't know if there's any collectibles we can get. God, look at this room. This is this is really good. I hope I'm capturing this in its full glory, guys, so you can see it. All right, let's go. So we want to go to Woodman Lee's. Okay, there we are in our horse and carriage. Tab open cake. We don't. Do we need to? Okay, continue. Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. There he is, Lestrade. Okay, mate, I'm coming. Join Lestrade at Woman Lee's. Complete it. Right, where did he go? Right, he's over there. So what have we got? We've got um, a lovely garden. Lovely vegetable patch. Okay. I don't want to miss anything. But I don't want to bore you guys with trying to find every single clue. So I might cut out a lot of the... The tedious looking around and uh it seems that the garden was well maintained okay well oh, don't tell me that was a clue yeah the garden and the fields are well kept a capable gardener works here okay so we can literally find <laughs> anything that was a cockerel yeah this game looks really crisp really lovely so we got a it was like a shed down there as a house we go we have to go and see Lestrade in a second oh anyway, there's some footprints there we can see T concentrate your attention to finding details that others are inclined to overlook footprints examine okay examine These footprint. footprints appear to be quite large Okay. There are unidentified footprints left recently on a patch of wet earth at Woodman Lees. They may have been left by the murderer, but they may have not. Perhaps I could find a pair of boots that would match them. Okay. So evidence required. I don't know why it's gone back there. Right, okay. We've got evidence now. Okay. And it also talks about the garden as well, we just saw. So, it's almost pointing a finger at the gardener. So we need to speak to the gardener, I guess. It seems that the garden was well maintained. Yes. So, let's talk to the officer. Hello, Bobby. Mr. Holmes. We go into the... Can we not go into the shed? Mr. Holmes. Maybe we can. Maybe we have to speak to Lestrade first of all. Can we put our tea on any time? No, let's not jump the gun. I think we get. Let's talk to. Um, let's go and talk to Lestrade first. Okay. I, I, I got a feeling this is going to be an excellent game. I'm oh, sorry, I was just using my. So shift actually slows me down. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Anything unusual that might... Oh, sorry, that night... When the body found... Oh, okay, it's different. <laughs> I was reading it like it's one sentence. Anything unusual that night? Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. 
Oh, he was drunk, was he? He was drunk. When was the body found? Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh, dear. Yeah. Ten o'clock in the morning. Is there a gardener? The garden is very large and well-maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Well, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Really? Okay, so... Evening before the murder. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. I'd love to have my own little cabin in the garden. <laughs> See you later, wifey. See you in the morning. No, I wouldn't. I'd have to ask for all. Right. Did he have visitors? She never, she never watches this, my videos anyway, so it doesn't matter what I say. Did he have visitors? Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh, no. I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. He lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. Wow. It's, it's really, I'm, I know I said about the graphics, but it's really good. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is all this? What the blinking hell is all this? <laughs> so I can actually study here. This is crazy. So this is what Holmes sees. So we don't see this. Well, we, we do. But Holmes is so good with his... Um, he sees everything, doesn't he? Crested tit. Oh, a blue... T oh, it's a bird. Um, what's that spade? Gardening gloves. Is there a time limit? Character portrait complete. Everything will become easy. Wow. I don't, I don't know what that was about. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he? When you first met him upon your return from Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? What? <laughs> what the? Oh my god, have we not... Choose the evidence that confronts the statements of a character in order to continue... Oh my god, this is going to be difficult. How do you know about Plymouth? Can we just browse our evidence a second, guys? I think this is going to be a bit more hard than I thought. So, Plymouth... Um, I mean, should we have looked around the garden first? What's this here? Oh, just character portrait. So how do we know he was in Plymouth? Well, Plymouth is um, a shipyard in Plymouth, isn't there? Uh, Judith carries a woman with an easy, an easy life due to her unhappy marriage with Peter. She is a very religious um, Christian Catholic woman who undertook at St. James Way pilgrimage uh, when she was young. Okay. How do you know about Plymouth pilgrimage? You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there. And you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Yeah, I knew that. That's exactly you, why madam. I went for a pilgrimage. Oh my goodness. I think this game is going to blow my mind in intelligence. The fact that I lack it. <laughs> ah, right. Let's have a little look around then. So, um... 
I think I should have looked around more really before speaking to her. But it gave me that timer, that cue timer thing. I'm not sure why. Is this his cabin then? Oh, it's got oh, it's locked. Do I have to press T again? I'm not sure how often to press T. That's a, that's a problem. And I think also there's... See, this is first person. You can flick to it. I don't know why you would want to. And imagination talent helps you to visualize objects and events useful in limited situations let's go into the cabin first of all so this is where the hmm what's this doing here then i've just seen this does this got anything to do with anything oh well, we do that afterwards I've just seen those marks on those like like those um skid marks the strad peter carey's body is inside the cabin we took care not to touch anything. Okay, thank you very much. Let's have a look then. The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin. It's and his body. I bet evidence. his body's gone. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. Tea? Okay, I can't see anything using tea there. Oh, oh, I can. So if I didn't have tea on, I couldn't really see that really. With tea, I can see that there's scratch marks These on there. These scratches are fresh. You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Our mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. Okay. What a terrible way to die. Right, let's have a look at the actual thing in normal view first of all to see what we got here. Wow, again, the level of detail. Look at that. It's a it's a um is it a shark jaw or something? There's Dundee. The Plymouth is down there, so we're down the south of England, so Got Dundee at the top in Scotland. Dundee. We do T. Not do anything. Okay. And Hammerfest. Hammerfest. It's a whaling map. Okay. As you would probably think, because he's a whaler. <laughs> and these are some whale tooth. The tooth of a sperm whale, probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. I expect so. So, again, I'm not sure about this tea. What it really... Oh, what does it say? Sus it says suspicious something or other. Suspiciously empty space outlining the dust. Ah! This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shell. So something square. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book. A box or a small chest, perhaps. What's that F mean? I do that again. Oh, that's what the F is. So when you press F, F is like you deduce what was there. All right. So we got F and T. Okay. Okay. I'm getting it now. I'm slowly getting the mechanics. Let's keep looking around. Ship's logs. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Okay. Wow, look at all these evidence. I'll go for the evidence at the end, I think. Object of interest. Okay, we don't need to know that. Wooden chest. Let's open this up. It's 
So we have some navigation, no navigation tools. instruments. Nothing interesting. Okay, is there anything we need to do with T? And then we got also got, oh, I forgot, remember to put both of them on. Okay, oh, his boots. Peter carries boots. They look to be a size 8. That's quite small. I would say. Not likely to fit the footprint we saw in the garden. Um, before we see Peter himself, let's have a look at the sea the unicorn. The sea unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. Right. So, what a death. He's been spiked. Oh, let's look at this table first. So we have some dirty... Two dirty glasses. He was drinking with somebody. Someone drank from this glass recently. Someone drank from this glass recently. Can we do F? Or T? It looks like we can't do it all the time then. Rum. A sailor's drink. It seems that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. And then we have a tobacco pouch. PC. Rotate the object in any direction to examine it thoroughly and uncover new details. Oh, we've got the P. initials PC have been crudely burned. A sailor's work. Well, that's his name, isn't it? And we have a look inside. It's just tobacco. Hmm. This aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. Pardon me? Rotate and move the elements to form a clear picture of aromatic associations. Bloody hell. So you're making like um, a picture out of it, are you? Oh, here we go. Yes, this is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. Right, that took me ages. I didn't realise you can actually move the tobacco. And I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it was like, um, like a collectible type thing. Right, let's have a look. There's a knife there. Peter Carey. So we have a notebook. With J-H-N on it. J-H-N are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. Hmm. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. Okay, so we have a list of people here, people's initials, and are these phone numbers. These abbreviations mean something, but what? Let's say uh, bearings. Like C bearings. Um, rotate the object in any direction to examine it thoroughly and uncover details. We got this wooden handle is plain and solid. Looks like a, a fish, like a gutting knife. This wooden hand. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. Wow, what a way to die. A look at the harpoon. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a whaling harpoon. Yes, a whaling harpoon. Let's look at the his chest. fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. So it's someone strong, big feet. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. Hmm. This man is in his fifties, yet he still looks quite strong. All right, what's that beaming then? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's all? Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop! Find a pair of related clues. Oh, I missed one. I missed that completely. Um. Okay, so. 
No gardener. Pin to the wall. Notebook. Breaking attempts. Right, breaking attempts. Several unsuccessful attempts were made to break in according to the scratches around the lock. Um. No gardener. Judith Carey says that her husband took care of the garden himself. That does not sound feasible. She might be hiding something. A leather notebook with the initials J H N. It is stained with blood, which indicates that it was dropped into the pool of blood after the murder. Okay. Um, I don't know what else we can do here. What's this plus? Find a pair of related clues and they will form a deduction. Red colour signifies an unachievable clue combination. Okay, well we got no gardener. No, let's do that one. Notebook. JHN. Okay, draw a clear picture of the crime by forming your deductions on the combination of clues. What? What was that? I just don't... Ah, someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Wow. Organise an ambush with Lestrade. The mysterious intruder might return tonight to finish what he had planned. Okay, I'm not sure how I kind of did that. Um, so the evidence we have is a tobacco pouch. Well, we know what I'm not going through the evidence again. <laughs> okay, let's go to see Lestrade then. Try to find the reason why I ended up without you, baby. I 